My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the JRE. We have been solving JRE math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the JRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 260, problem number 4. Page 260 and today is our lesson number 165. Problem number 4 on page 260, the very first one. They are asking what is the sum of, what is the sum of the angles of a of a of a decagon which is a ten sided picture but before we go as far as the decagon let's take baby steps let's first take care of uh, things in sequence what's the sum what's the sum of the angles of a triangle a quadrilateral a Pentagon, uh, uh, hexagon, an um, octagon, and finally a uh, decagon. I could actually just stand here and throw the formula at you and ask you to memorize the formula, but as you know by now, that's not what we do. And if that's what you want, there are plenty of videos on the YouTube where you'll find that, precisely that. So what is the sum of the angles? Sum of the angles of a triangle, of course we know that. Uh, very simple, sum of the angles of a triangle is 180. What does quadrilateral mean? What does quadrilateral mean? Quadrilateral means exactly what it says. Quadrilateral has a prefix of... Prefix of quad, which means four, a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral is a, a four-sided picture, it's a four-sided picture, quadrilateral, a square is a quadrilateral, all squares are quadrilateral, but of course all quadrilaterals are not squares just because it's a four-sided picture obviously it's not going to mean necessarily that it's a square a rectangle is a quadrilateral so let's draw a quadrilateral there is a quadrilateral it has no rhythm or rhyme to it it's going all over the place what is the sum of the angle what are the sum of the angle not what are rather what is the sum of the angles angles of a quadrilateral to answer that question, what we need to understand is that a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral quad if I can learn how to spell things, quadrilateral. A quadrilateral, what we need to understand is that a quadrilateral is nothing but a union of two triangles. That's all it is. A quadrilateral is just a marriage of two triangles. That's all it is. And if you can understand that, you can answer the question, what is the sum of the angles in a, in a quadrilateral? Here we go. I'm going to break it up. There you go. Here's your triangle one and here's your triangle two. Or we could have gone the other way around and we would have had left and right. Here we have top and bottom. But a quadrilateral is just a union of two triangles. And since we know that the sum of the angles of one triangle is 180, sum of the angles of a quadrilateral must be 2 times 180. Let's move on to pentagon, shall we? Let's move on to pentagon. So it's 2 times 180. is nothing but a 
union of let's move on to pentagon shall we what does pentagon mean? what does penta mean? penta means 5 so we're going to draw a 5 sided picture Five-sided picture. That is a pentagon. It has five sides. It has five sides. One, two, three, four, and five. And what we find is that what we find is that a pentagon is nothing but a union of Three triangles. It's a union of three triangles. Here we go. Let's, let's use this as the point, point. Let's use this as a point of reference. There is one triangle right there. So there is another triangle right there, and there is a triangle right there. That's what it is. A pentagon is made up of three triangles, and since we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180, therefore some of the angles of a pentagon must be. Three times one eighty. Pentagon is nothing but a union of three triangles. It's three times one eighty. Let's, let's talk about hexagon, shall we? Hexagon is a six sided picture. An hexagon is a six sided picture. I think you're beginning to understand where we're going. Where we're going with it? It's a union of how many do you suppose? When it's quadrilateral, it's a union of two triangles, four less than two. Sorry, when it's a quadrilateral, it's a union of two triangles, two less than the number of sides that we have. You know, the number of sides in a quadrilateral is four. It has two triangles, two less than the number of sides we have, four minus two. When it's pentagon, we just found out was a union of three triangles. Again, two less than number. Of Two less than the number of sides. When this hexagon, which has six sides, we'll see that a six a hexagon I do this on purpose to make you understand that this side and this side well, some, this, this is not a regular hexagon. We'll, we'll talk about a regular hexagon or regular pentagon in a second. All sides do not have to be equal just because it's a hexagon just because it's a pentagon does not necessarily mean that all of the sides of the picture have to be equal. Here you can see they're, they're not. This side, this side is much longer than that side. Anyway, this is a hexagon. It has an hexagon is a six-sided picture. A hexagon, an hexagon is nothing more than a union of, an hexagon is nothing more than a union of Four triangles, two less than a number of sides. There we go. I'm going to use again this as a point of reference. One, that's the first triangle. Two, that's the second triangle. Three, that's the third triangle and fourth triangle. As you can see, an hexagon is nothing more than a union of four triangles. Therefore, the number of degrees in the hexagon, what is the sum of the angles in the hexagon? It is four times 180. Let's talk about octagon. An octagon, an octagon will have an octagon will have six times one eighty. Two less than the number of sides in the picture. A picture a picture with n sides, whatever that n happens to be, will have will have 
the sum of the angles in the picture with, that's what I meant to say, the sum of the angles in a picture with n sides will be n minus 2 times 180. Voila! n minus 2 times 180. Therefore, therefore, a decagon will have 10 minus 2 times 180 degrees. Or in other words, 8 times 180, whatever that happens to be. A decagon, the sum of the angles in the deck, sum of the angles of a decagon, sum of the angles of a decagon is 8 minus 180. And the formula, the rule, the rule is this. However, however many, however, however many sides that we have, we subtract two from it. Times that's how many triangles it's going to have. If it has four sides, the four-sided picture has two triangles in it. It is made up of two triangles. If it has five sides, a picture contains five sides. If it's a pentagon, a pentagon is made up of three triangles, two less than the number of sides. So this represents the number of triangles in the picture times 180 because each triangle is 180 degrees. And that's it. Therefore, decagon is just 10 minus 2 times 180. That's all it is. The very last thing that I want to talk about, the very last thing I want to talk about, let's see if we've done with all of this thing. Let's go back and draw this picture here. The very last thing that I want to bring to your attention is, let's take a look at this picture here. This is a pentagon, but this is not a regular pentagon, not, not a regular pentagon. What does regular mean? Regular, the term regular, when, when somebody talks about a regular pentagon or regular hexagon or regular octagon or regular decagon, regular means all sides are equal. A regular pentagon looks something like this. Since I started it, I have to finish it now. And I might not know how to draw a regular pentagon. See, this is not going anywhere. I'm going to draw a regular hexagon. How about that? There's a regular hexagon. A regular hexagon has all sides equal to each other. A regular hexagon has all sides equal. Therefore, 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 all of its interior angles will also be equal to each other. Therefore, all of its interior angle will also be equal to each other. This angle is equal to that angle, this angle, they are all equal. All of these angles are equal because all the sides are equal. And if that happens, it is called a regular hexagon, a regular pentagon. The building in the Pentagon building in, D in DC, well, re first of all, there is a reason why the building is called Pentagon is because it's got five sided. But if you look at the picture, you will see that, of course, because it's a very symmetric thing. It's a very, it's a regular pentagon. All the sides are equal. And therefore, all the internal angle that you will see, they will also be all equal. That's what it is. The reason you have to understand this concept is because this sort of terminology appears in the exam and you have to know what that means. And that's exactly what they're asking in the next question. In the, in the next question they're talking about what is the measure of each of the angles, interior angles, of a decagon, which we'll do, we'll do tomorrow. I don't want to do it in a rush. Again, if I wanted to just do it with the formula, I can just throw the formula and get it done with it in 20 seconds. But we want to understand the concept. Do we understand? We're not here for the sake of solving a problem. We are here. For learning uh, because we want to learn the concept. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.